You already know what it is. Shakur Stevenson did his thing. We're going to get all into it, but we would be remiss not to get into Jay Prince. You already know what it is. Shakur Stevenson, Mob Ties, Rap A Lot. He had a, a spectacular entrance from Finesse two times. You already know what it is. Mob Ties was heavy in the building. You already know. Uh, definitely supporting Shakur Stevenson. Listen, Shakur was electrifying tonight. I mean, all jokes aside, Shakur was just violating. And um, we gonna get all into it. Just looking like a master boxer out there. We all knew that his punching power would grow as he got to the 135 division. And we've seen it at full scale. He really put a hurting on this man. I'm telling you, we, we got to get all into it. He, obviously, we all know we was live from Brick City, Newark, New Jersey. Shakur Stevenson had the city in the palm of his hands, ladies and gentlemen. I need everybody to hit that like button. If you knew, most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. What was your thoughts on the whole entrance and everything from Finesse Two Times? What was your thoughts? It's good to see, you know, I, as obviously it's so much, you know, craziness that, you know, the media and things get thrown out. Uh, it's good to see some positive things going on. And um, they celebrating a, a spectacular six round defeat, you know, um, that Shakur Stevenson put on. Really, just um, just just was like the art of war in terms of beating down this dude Yush Yushino. You know, um, it was nothing that this man could do in terms of you know keeping up with Shakur. Man, uh, Shakur pretty much mastered the art of hitting without getting hit. Um, you seen just like he looked like a powerhouse. His physique, everything, like, he, like his man strength, finally came alive, and you seen it firsthand. I mean, I, I mean, literally dropped him twice. You know, I, the whole the ref literally had to come in. I was just wondering, like, damn. I mean, I don't know when he gonna make it. I thought, and Shakur for me, I didn't really know Shakur known for getting knockouts per se. But as I, as you can see. I was just telling myself, damn, if this fight go on any longer, Shakur about to put this dude night-night. You know, we were seconds away from a big-time uh, dramatic knockout. You know, a complete violation. That's what I thought was happening next if the ref didn't step in. You know, um, he was banging in there. Just like I said, every hit was just more powerful. And I seen this power against in that Conseco fight. For whatever reason, I don't know why people didn't notice Shakur Stevenson's power in that Robson fight. You know, he was really banging with him in there. Th tonight was just on a whole nother level. And listen, he sent the clear message to the 135 division. Is a reason why his name is not brought up when people discuss, you know, um, the, the next challenges of this division. Nobody's talking about Shakur Stevenson. Nobody. And and like I said, something something's got to give. This this man is ranked very high. You know, everybody knows that the the future of this division will go through Shakur Stevenson. Is many fighters that's on that Richter scale anyway, but Shakur Stevenson is just like I said in terms of his development, his age, uh, and what he's coming into. He's looking like he's gonna take that step now. And um and you don't hear guy you hear guys like Frank Martin they're not calling out Shakur Stevenson you know and the list goes on you know nobody would you, Javante you know it seemed like they jumping over hula hoops Devin Haney you know even though you heard Bill Haney come out and say that they not leaving the one thirty five division but hey man I mean we we gonna have to believe it to see it. It just doesn't make any sense, to be honest with you, as I'm just looking and surveying the landscape right now. You know, the referee, man, he just had a, he had enough. You know, the ref had to step in to save this man's life because, to be honest with you, all of the beating, you know, that he was putting on him, that, that, that could in turn, in turn, you don't know what was going on internally in this man's brain. But Shakur sat him down, you know, twice. You know, like I stated before, this was easily could have been um, a brain damaging situation, but at the end of the fight, you know, he's told, he told people that he always got the best of Devin Haney, you know, so we're going to have to figure out now what is Devin Haney going to do? This fight is, this should, this should be a shoe in to be honest with you. After that Lomachenko fight, it has to be Shakur versus Devin Haney. It has to. And, um, I don't know if Devin, what, what's going to happen with that, to be honest with you. 
because as I'm looking at it, everybody's going to believe that, you know, Devin Haney is crazy. De everybody looks at Devin Haney as like head and shoulders, top, top notch dude. But I'm telling you, Shakur Stevenson is, is, is a serious threat out here, man. And it's going to be interesting to see the, those two boxers who everybody look at these guys are like master boxers, you know. Um, it's going to be interesting because Shakur tonight showed, you know, his full arsenal, you know, and the whole division is scratching their head right now trying to figure out what the hell is going to go on now with Shakur in the division. You know, he just completely wrecked everything. You know, uh, a lot of people's plans, you know, that they have for, the, for their future, their careers and everything like that. You know, now with Shakur in the division, that could mess up everything. And you see fighters, they feeling that. You know, uh, Frank Martin taking the podium with a microphone, saying everybody name but him. I'm going to put Keyshawn Davis in there as well. Keyshawn Davis, I know they buddies and all. But how is Keyshawn Davis trying to accomplish all of these things? How are you bringing up Frank Martin? Like, Frank Martin, he won his title eliminator. Shakur Steven just was in the title eliminator. Now, now you got Keyshawn Davis flapping his gums, talking about what he want to do, this, this, and this. I mean, it's just not a good look. You know, um, Shakur Stevenson got this division and in, in, in just an uproar right now. You know, you got some people doing some unusual, strange things like uh, Keyshawn Davis, despite their friendship, they still are in the same division. And then you got some fighters that's just like, it's just ignoring them. You know, he is the boogeyman of this division, and he sure why. You know, he sure why nobody wanted to take this fight. They had to go get somebody from Japan. You know, and give that dude credit. I know a lot of people might try to clown him or, or say this, this, that, and the third with him, but it was so many other fighters who could have took this fight with Shakur Stevenson. He give him credit for stepping up to the plate. You know, um, that was that was spectacular on his part, even though he, he got beat down. I think this fight, if Shakur, listen... No, a couple of those shots that Shakur hit him with, I can only imagine if that was Javante Davis. He would have been just knocked out cold, you know, just back on the canvas, you know. So I think Shakur Stevenson, if there's any indication, he's stronger at 135. Those punches hitting harder at 135. And I'm serious. At, like I said, at, you didn't see this going on at 130 where the ref got to come in for the man's safety. Seriously, at one point I was really concerned for this guy's safety. But give credit to Yoshino. You know, he he's gonna have a bright future ahead of him. Shakur gave him his first loss of his career. You know, the sky's the limit for Shakur Stevenson. He he's won the title eliminator. Let's see who he fight next. It's gotta be Devin, um, the winner of this Lomachenko Devin Haney fight. Let us let me know your thoughts. Let's politic. It's Flight Sports TV. Peace and love.